In this video, we are going to look at the different mobile communication generations. In the previous video, we discussed why the technologies had to evolve over the years to cater to the requirements of the user. They wanted faster speeds and more secure communication. So let's look at the generations of mobile communication. 1G or the first generation. It was introduced in the early 1980s in the US. It used analog signals for transmission and it was designed exclusively for voice communication. At that point of time, telephones were the only mode of communication. So on computer networks, voice was the first mode of communication. At that point of time, videos and audios had not made their impact. Some characteristics of the 1G communication were speeds were only up to 2.4 kbps. We can say kbps now only because now we are into the fourth generation. Anyways, we'll come to that later. It had poor voice quality and large phones with limited battery life were there. Currently, we are using telephone which have battery life of say 12 hours, 18 hours, even 48 hours. But at that point of time, when the first generation mobile phones were being used, hardly a couple of hours. And it had no data security. But these were overcome in the next generation. So let's look at the second generation. It used digital signals for the first time. So we had made a shift from analog to the digital signal. It was launched in Finland in 1991 and it used the GSM system for the first time. The GSM protocol was used for the first time. So now the data speeds moved up to 64 kbps. Text and multimedia messaging was available now because we saw in 1G only voice but now text and multimedia messages. 2G used GPRS communication protocol. And then that was a step ahead from 2G. So it is called 2.5G. We had not yet reached 3G, whose characteristics we'll be seeing in the next video. 3G is the third generation of mobile communication. It was introduced in early 2000s. So 21st century started with the third generation of mobile computers. So here, as you can see, we achieved data speeds up to two megabits per second high speed web browsing, you can easily browse your web on the mobile. Earlier you had to sit on your PCs or your laptops to browse. Then 3D gaming was also made possible with the introduction of third generation of mobile communication, fast and easy transfer of audio and video files. However, everything has a downside. So 3G technology also has a downside. The mobile phones became very expensive high infrastructure costs were required because for utilizing 3G communication protocols, license fees had to be given to the service providers. Trained personnel were also required for infrastructural setup. As we have seen earlier also that as the infrastructure grows or the sophistication of the technology grows, then the people who are installing and maintaining it, they need to be trained even more. And that was definitely a factor in the 3G. Now 3.5G grouped together dissimilar mobile telephony and data technologies. What does this mean? Again, we are 3.5G. We have not yet reached 4G. That is the fourth generation. What happened in 3.5G? That mobile technologies and data technologies. Data communication technologies means the wired network. They were coming together to give faster, better access to the mobile users. So after 3.5G, let's come to 4G. 4G, very latest, very recent, introduced in 2011. And now we have speeds up to 1 Gbps, 1 gigabits per second. If you remember in 1G, we started from 2.4 kilobits. And now we have come up to Gbps. Mobile web access, faster and more secure. High definition mobile TV. So now, you can watch TV programs on your mobile or conversely on your uh, TV, which is smart TV. Then you can see your YouTube videos or other things that you are used to doing on your mobile phones. Cloud computing and IP telephony. What does cloud computing mean? Cloud computing means that the service is situated somewhere on the server and all the users can access it without having the complete infrastructure 
in their own networks all this has been possible because of 4g so in this video we have seen how the generations of mobile communication graduated from 1g to 4g how the speeds have increased the services being offered increased in this video we have looked at mobile communication protocols in the next video we are going to look at email protocols that are used